What's up, Gabe Streamcast Guy here, talking today about Sony because they just announced the next state of play, and it's tomorrow. It sounds like it's going to be jam-packed with a bunch of future PlayStation games for the rest of 2023, and probably some easy surprises for the beginning of 2024. I'll be honest, I think I have a pretty good idea as to what's going to show up, but let's talk. Hi, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But now let's dive deep. So here it is over on Twitter. The tweet is absolutely going viral. Uh, what's funny is that people have been so excited about this announcement. The words state of play have been trending for the last two or three days. There's been a bunch of leaks talking about the fact that this might happen. And here it is. Tune in tomorrow, which is Thursday the 14th at 2 p.m. Pacific time for a new state of play focused on indie and third-party titles from around the world. Now, th this first glance seems a bit vague, but if you go over to the PlayStation blog, it actually gives us a tiny bit more details. Now, what's interesting to me is that it doesn't say how long it's going to be. Typically, a lot of these big state of plays, they like to say exactly, it's 20 minutes, it's 15 minutes, it's two hours. They like to tell you. This one doesn't say anything. Maybe they'll update it later, but it says, this will be a mix of indie, PSVR 2 titles, major upcoming titles from our third-party partners, and our latest show has something for everyone. Now, I think even though they're claiming it's going to have a lot of third-party stuff, I think we are still going to see some teases from a specific first-party game. There has been a lot of talk about the fact that apparently people are playing Spider-Man 2. I haven't had a chance to play it, but boy howdy do I wish I had, but... People are actually going to be releasing a bunch of impressions videos on Friday morning. Apparently, it sounds like we're going to get bombarded with a ton of gameplay. I still think, despite the fact that they are going to be doing that big press push, I imagine we are going to see a new trailer for Spider-Man 2. And also, I think we might see a tease for Wolverine. Now, this is such a giant question mark. A lot of PlayStation fans, a lot of Sony people have been so incredibly curious about it because we really don't know what form Insomniac's Wolverine is going to take. Spider-Man, in my opinion, Insomniac's Spider-Man is just so perfect. I mean, I've read a lot of Spider-Man comics. I literally have a closet full of Spider-Man costumes I had made for myself. I think it's literally the best Peter Parker they have ever done. And now this guy is saying this. This is one of the guys who's working currently on Wolverine. I can't wait for people to play Spider-Man on their PS5. Working on that game with so many amazing people was a lot of fun. However, today I get to start something new. Hashtag Wolverine PS5. So a lot of people are taking it that the game is done. Obviously it comes out in one month. So it seems like they're starting to begin the big push on finalizing of preparing, of getting ready for Wolverine. But I actually think the major things they're going to reveal at this state of play is two big things. I think that there's going to be a lot of PSVR talk. I think there's going to be some cool indies because there's always some cool indies. But I think we're going to see Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I think it's going to be at least a teaser trailer for it because that game is coming out in January, right? January, February? I swear that they said that, that it's coming out early next year, quarter one of 2024. And so that's cool. Everybody's excited for it. But actually consider this. The push of the PlayStation 5 sales from Final Fantasy 16 was huge. Final Fantasy 16 being a console exclusive clearly made Sony a bunch, a bunch of money. I think it's a very safe bet that we're going to keep seeing some exclusive Square Enix goodness on PlayStation for many years to come because I think it's now becoming that cyclical nature. Once people start to think of, hey, Square Enix and PlayStation, then you start to assume, okay, well, now I have to buy a PlayStation if I want to enjoy Square Enix. So I think it's a good safe bet that we'll see something about Rebirth. Maybe just they'll do that thing where a developer comes out and says, hey, Hey, I'm glad you're excited for it. You'll see it at some point in the future. But the other thing is, I do think we're going to finally see the reveal of the PlayStation 5 Slim. There's already been leaks of the console itself. I think they're going to also show the PlayStation Portal, that like little handheld device. I think for the most part, though, that Sony is going to spend at least part of this 
trying to explain what the new PlayStation 5 is. There's there's been so many pictures of it, people unboxing it. I mean, we know exactly what it is. It's just the new revised version of the PlayStation 5. The way that the PlayStation 4 got a PlayStation 4 Slim, but they didn't call it the Slim. It's just the new PS4. This is the new PlayStation 5. And if you don't like the way it looks, well, I guess we got to suck it up, Buttercup, because <laughs> that's what we're going to get. I think if I could really be pie in the sky here, if I could really just make some crazy guesses, I kind of want to see a bunch of talk about 2024. Right now, I like my PlayStation 5. It's something I game on a lot, but I really don't know what the heck I'm going to be playing in six months. We have Spider-Man, but that's it. We're not getting any DLC for God of War Ragnarok or nothing that's actually officially revealed. What is coming next? Are we going to get another Ratchet and Clank? Are we going to get some huge epic thing like Final Fantasy Tactics Remake? Final Fantasy IX Remake is being rumored. But other than like third party stuff, I want to hear them talk about what is next for PlayStation. Is it going to be a reboot of something like SOCOM? There's been talks about the fact that Sony wants to try and start making their own first-person shooters. There's talk about that live service Last of Us game, the games as a service version of Horizon Forbidden West, where apparently it's going to be like Monster Hunter. There's been leaked gameplay of that. I'm, I guess I'm just in the spot now where I'm happy with PlayStation as it currently exists, but I've had the exact same complaint for the last three years, which is I want them to talk more. I want them to brag more. I want them to come out on stage and say, hey, here exactly is what is next. And lately, they have been way too freaking silent. But these have just been some off-the-cuff thoughts. We'll see what it actually turns into tomorrow. Uh, again, I'm going to try and make a video. It's a... Uh, we'll see. I mean, I'm playing a lot of video games tomorrow in LA, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. But hey, you guys rock. Have a great day. Thanks for watching this video and like it and subscribe. Okay, time to go play some more video games today. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.